who's here today? Who do we have? Oh, not very many. Right, let's show you on the grid. So, hello, hello, Arav. Hello, Swaya. No one else? Hello, ma'am. Hello, lovely to see you. Let's try and... What's happened here? Hang on, let me just get this sorted out. There we go. So there's just the two of you. Is that right? Where's everybody else today? Okay, well, oh, there's a few more. Arash, hiya. Anybody else coming? No? Right, well, we're going to talk about celebrations to start with. So um, do you have a favourite festival or celebration, Arash? Oh, right. yeah. Yeah. Do you have a favourite festival or celebration? Man, Christmas. Christmas. I like Christmas too. What about you, Swayam? Do you have any um, favourite festivals, times of the year? Special things? Holidays. Holidays. <laughs> yeah, me too. All right. So what we're going to do, I've got some little discussion topics here and this is about comparing things where you are with the UK so we are going to so Arash you can go first when I turn over this card there'll be something on the card some sort of question about celebration so we'll see what it is all right okay so think about British festivals so things like Christmas Bonfire nights. Christmas. So your favourite British festival is Christmas, yeah? Because you already said that, didn't you? Yes, ma'am. Well, there's another thing on this. Why? Do you do you think so at Christmas time RF? What do you do? Do you celebrate at all there? Man me. Yeah, what do you do? Do you have lots of nice food? I play with snow. Um, we might have snow here, but we actually we don't often at Christmas. Um, and you get presents, yes. So that's the same. We all get presents, don't we? And what about decorations? Do you put any decorations up? Yeah, nice, pretty things up. Yeah. Okay. So I am. Let's do one for you. Here's a good one. So in India, where you are, how do people celebrate their birthday? So what would be a typical way to celebrate your birthday? So that's for Swayam. What would you do on your birthday? Buy my big gift and eat chocolate. Cake and chocolate, yeah. What else? Ice cream. Ice cream. Does it revolve around food quite a lot? What about presents? Birthday presents? Yes. Um, yeah. Parties? Do you have a party on your birthday, maybe? Yeah, you might do. All right. So that's a few things about celebrations. Yes, ma'am. So there might be two more. Let's see what the next one is. All right, you can have this one. Oh, weddings. Do you know anything about weddings in your country? So have you been to a wedding, Arash? When two people get married. Oh, ma'am. No, not been to anyone been to a wedding. Not a good question. All right then. I thought some of the girls might have been here today. They would have liked that. And um, we've done this one, haven't we? What's your favourite festival? Because you said Christmas. But do you have a favourite um, festival that we don't have? Do you have a favourite Indian festival? So Arash. Ma'am Diwali. Diwali. I remember when you had Diwali. And you, what do you do at Diwali then? You tell me. Like in Diwali, we also uh, just take some firecrackers and burst like some of the uh, just like sticky bones, but you put the fire on it and... Oh, lovely. So lots of things with lights. Light. Yes, fireworks, lights. They're not real. Th those were not real. Yeah. Uh, like there are a sutili bomb. When you put the fire, so in two or three seconds, you have to go back because if you will be really near, so 
you like uh, like la two years ago I, I, when i was just uh, firing uh, chakri like there is also like a wheel so yeah. i was firing that wheel so on that time i just uh, burned my finger all right yeah you have to be careful so, yeah and then, like go over there you can put toys near the sutli bum or any like there are lots of there are uh, anar which is which is like a cone which is like a, just a birthday cap and when you will just put it so it would wow. like a like it will look like this is a sticky bomb it got blast right wow so thank you for telling me about all of that um i think your divali sounds like great fun i like the sound of that right anyway Only so. doesn't sound really fun because the colors, the color also goes into the eyes. Oh, you have to be careful with that. Yes. All right, lovely. So celebrations. Now the story this week is the letter S. So there were quite a lot of things beginning with S. Actually, it's quite a good one to have. So what we'll do, we'll get the story. And we'll see if you remember it because you may have seen this before when I did it last time. I don't think Spyam will have seen it before because I don't think he was here, but I think you too might have. So the thing that came to mind with the letter S, first of all, was sky. So there's a picture of a sky there looking quite dramatic with lots of clouds and things moving around because the sky is always changing, isn't it? Now, for a character, it had to be a snake, really, didn't it? So, oh, hey, no, didn't mean to do that. So here's our character, and he is Sammy, the smiley snake. So we've got three S's there, because he looks a bit like he's smiling. But I think it's probably a bit of an evil grin, because he likes to bite people. So this is Sammy, the smiley snake. And Sammy is Scottish which means he's from Scotland. So Scotland is in the very north of the UK. It's actually quite big, but a lot of it is covered in mountains and not as many towns perhaps as down in England. So Sammy the snake was from Scotland and this flag here is the Scottish flag. So Sammy, liked the sea, another thing beginning with S, and became a sailor. Once you've been a sailor for a little while, you might become the skipper. So the skipper is the person who's in charge of the boat. So he really wanted to be the skipper of his own schooner. And this is a schooner, which is a kind of boat that has lots of lovely sails on it. So sailor, skipper, schooner. Now, there were quite a lot of countries to visit in the schooner as a sailor, beginning with S. So there was Saudi Arabia. That was a little bit tricky to get to though, because it didn't really have anywhere very easy to take the schooner. So it's mostly got land around it, apart from the Red Sea there. Then there was Sri Lanka. That was a lovely place right down there, not so far from India. Spain, very hot, very nice. And Sammy could sail his schooner all around the Mediterranean Sea and the little islands in between. Another country beginning with S was Sweden. Sweden's a bit cold, it's right up in the north. And in the winter, lots of snow, another S word. And then Singapore. Singapore is a strange little country because it's so tiny. And it's really like a, a city country, Singapore there. So lots of places to visit on the schooner. Now, he couldn't get to Switzerland at all on his schooner. You cannot sail to Switzerland because there's no sea. Switzerland is entirely surrounded by other countries, Germany, France, Italy and Austria. And you can't sail there. There's rivers and lakes, but nowhere for the schooner. So he couldn't get to Switzerland on his boat. Now, 
I mean, the snake and lots of friends. All beginning with S and all of these ones lived in the sea or near the sea. So the sea all there loves to swim in the sea and also spends lots of time basking on the rocks. There's a seahorse swimming right underneath the water. A sea lion, a bit like the seal, comes out and sits on the rocks. Now this is the weird one. Anyone heard of this? A sea cucumber. This is actually an animal, but it looks like a cucumber. Very basic animal. It's got a mouth and two eyes at one end. Eats stuff, gets rid of stuff. That's all it does. And it's a bit of a weird looking thing. Right. There's some other sea creatures. A little bit more scary. It was the giant squid and the shark. Both beginning with S. And the shark in particular, a little bit scary. Now, there's lots of land animals that begin with S as well. It's a cool choice. We went with the squirrel. So these are the, this is a grey squirrel. And there's also what we call red squirrels, which are much more rare. We have lots of squirrels here. Do you have squirrels? Like this in, in India? Do you, have you seen squirrels, Swayam? Do you have them? No? Oh, Rush, have you ever seen a squirrel? I don't know if you do. Yes, ma'am. You do, yes. We have lots, lots and lots of squirrels. So you have squirrels, yeah? And these squirrels, they um they can be quite a bit of a pain. Like we had squirrels in our in our loft in the house, so we had to get rid of them. No, ma'am, here in uh, like in Indian jungles, there are the squirrels. Yes, they can be a bit of a pest. What about sheep? Have you got sheep? They're not very rare. They're quite useful. They're lovely woolly coats. We can make woolly things from them. And what about skunks? The skunk had another thing about it because the skunk, skunk stinks and is smelly. So a smelly skunk. Okay. One day, Sammy the snake felt sad. He was not having a good day at all. So he put on his socks and he put on his shoes. No way, he couldn't do that, could he? Why couldn't Sammy the snake put on his socks and shoes? Think about it. Why could the snake not put on his socks and shoes? Because what hasn't he got? Snakes don't have legs. No legs, no feet. And Sammy was really miffed about that. That's why he was so sad. Because he couldn't put on his shoes and socks and go for a run because he didn't have any legs to run on. Poor Sammy. But then something made him smile. He got in the water because he loved to swim. And swim, you can do without any legs. So he got in the water, went for a lovely long swim, and that made him smile. Now, most favorite thing of all, food. Quite a lot of food beginning with an S. This is an afternoon tea, which is quite a thing over here. We go out for afternoon tea sometimes. And in the afternoon tea, you can have scones. These are the scones here with jam and cream. You can have strawberry jam, there's in a big dish there. Sandwiches and lots of sweet treats, little cakes and pastries at the top. So Arash, if I gave you a table full of food like that and I said you could have one thing, what would you choose? Cupcake. Cake. <laughs> Anyone choose the scone? Anyone like those? What about you, Swayam? What would you choose? Cupcake. Cupcake. With lots of icing, yes? Jam. 
Yeah. All right, if you like the jam, do you? You'd have the strawberry jam. Mm. I would have the scone with the jam and cream because that's my favourite. Okay, nobody wants the sandwiches, do they? We'll go for the sweet things. And at night, Sammy loved to go and watch the sun set over the sea because that was a nice thing to do. So I went and watched the sun setting over the sea. There we go, that's the end of the story about Sammy the snake. Now, oh, oh, is someone coming in? There we go. Right, so now's the time when we play a game. So we're gonna go for the hangman and it's going to be some words to do with celebrations like we were talking about. So it might be festivals, celebrations, things that you do, that sort of thing. So when it's hangman, you just give me letters and we'll see if the letters make up the word, all right? So let's start with, so this is anything to do with celebration. Oh, wait a minute, lost my whiteboard. Anything to do with celebration. So it might be something you have at a celebration or the name of the celebration. We'll see, all right, so. The first one is going to be a short word. So we have a celebration. So it's a short one to get us going. And let's go for blue. Right. So here are the letters in the word, the number of letters. So then you've got four letters. Something you might have at a celebration. That's a lot of different celebrations too. So I am a letter. Just a letter. Don't try and guess the word yet because you couldn't possibly. A. Okay, you're right. There is an A. Right there. Oh, Rav, can you give me a letter? Have a letter from you, oh, Rav. Can't hear you. Oh, Rav, what about you? Can you give me a letter? Something you have at a celebration, so you probably can't guess yet, but give me a letter, try out. No, I don't know. A letter, you don't need to guess the word, I want a letter, that's how you play hangman. So give me a letter of the alphabet. V -A -L. V, no, there's no V, you only one letter at a time. H. H, no. Anyone else? Swayam, have you got a letter? I. 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 No, I. Is this something you have at a celebration? You might have one at Christmas, you might have one on your birthday. What letter did you say? C. Did you say C? I can I can't hear you. Is it that letter? T. No. No T. Ooh. I'll give you a clue. It's sweet. These are sweet. Man, cake. cake. Okay, it is cake, but now you've got to come up with the letters. So what does cake start with? K -E. Well done, it is cake. You have cake with lots of different celebrations, don't we? All right, okay, here comes another one. Right, it's gonna be a long word. Okay. Ah, Rav, give me a letter. I'm what is the sun? S for sun. What, ma'am? 
think you said S for sun. You'd be right. Okay. Arash. A letter. Yeah. A. A. Yeah. Swayam. A letter. E for elephant. E for elephant. No, there isn't an E. Okay. Arash? O. O. No, no O. Arav? Arav, what do you think? The letter. B. B for bus. Uh, no. B. Swaya? Let's give us a clue. Give you a clue. I don't want to make it too easy. Um, a clue. Okay, in at this festival, we bring trees into our houses. Merry Christmas. Right, how do you spell it then? Let's see if you can spell it. What letters do we need? C R C H. Yeah. I. M. There we go. Well done, Christmas. All right. Okay. So, would one of you like to have a go? Can you write on my whiteboard? I'm not sure. Do you want to have a go to see if you can write something? I don't know if it'll work or not. Arav, can you if you think of a word to do at the festival, not Arav, sorry, Arash. Can you think of a festival word? Can you write on that on my whiteboard? I don't know. Just have a go. We can't control the whiteboard. You have are you sharing the Zoom original whiteboard or something? Oh, okay. All right then. Don't worry. I'll do one more then. I'm not quite sure how to spell it. Wait a minute. I've got to look something up because I can't remember how to spell it. I think I know. It would be awful to get it wrong. Ma'am, if you are using the Zoom. Okay. Say that again. If you are using Zoom original whiteboard, then, then we can only control the screen. And do okay, that. not a problem. Okay, we'll do this one instead. So here, yeah, here are the letters. Ma'am, actually, you have to allow us to annotate. Yeah, I don't think I can do that. All right, we'll just do this one instead. Right, give us a letter, Arash. Yes, ma'am. A letter. Choose a letter then. And D, I. One letter. D. I. <laughs> I think you know. U. A. Yeah. L. Yeah. I. Yeah. Well, that was too easy, wasn't it? Did I spell it right? I must have done because you did as well. All right. Okay. One more then, that was too quick. Right, here we go, no. Okay, here's the last one. Okay. Arash, start us off. Yes, ma'am. Better. W. Why am? E. E. A for apple, yeah? Um, let me think. No. RF? Yes, ma'am. Can you think of a letter? I don't know. 
any letter you like. It doesn't matter at this stage. I. I. You can have I. There's no I, actually. You're doing well going through the vowels, though. There's going to be some somewhere. All right, can you think of a letter? Okay. You have you. Who said, did someone say E? You. You. You said, no, there's no you, but if you said E, there is an E. Two E's. Hmm. Swam, can you think of any more letters we could try? N. 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 You're right. Arash? No idea? Choose the letter. Just try a letter. I think Swam might know what it is, actually. Go on, Swam. Maybe you've got another one. An O. An O. No, there's no O, I'm afraid. Getting a bit close to being hung here. Swaya, what do you think? T oh. for tiger. T for yes. tiger. Yes. You know what it is, don't you? Try something else. S. Presents. Yes. Well done. Presents. Okay. We run out of time. So if today was S, next week is going to be what's the next letter of the alphabet? What comes after S? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, B, Q, R, S. T, yes, you're muted, but I think you said E. So next week it will be T. All right, have a good week. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.